the best currencies that has moved last year or last few weeks it has been trading brilliantly and uh, the moves have been quite nice and just by looking at the radar screen you would see that if you're looking at the cable you got the structure long of 159.80 and you got your structure short 157.06 and these two numbers have been or the pound has been respecting these two points all through the uh, the last few weeks so again we are going to if you look at right where we're at right now basically the trade was to go long above the 115.790 from last week and we're just sitting at it right now but in any case what we have right now guys we have a close for the week we have two things that took place last week. We had a break below the 157.06. I'm sorry, we had a trade break below the, the 153. It broke the 157.06 to the 153. So it is, again, typical move. It took us to the same expected. I mean, as you see, it's moving from one to the second and to the third pretty nicely and it finishes and it comes back up again and it's doing this it has been doing this since july so again if that's the way it's behaving then we are going to uh, move with it Uh, so the way we're going to do now I have initially when it came above the 153 we had an initial buy now it has come above the 157.06 and Uh, it closed at above the 157.06 now getting exactly Safan I mean yeah Safan we have created a monster man from Dubai up to now I mean you, you know everything by heart now that's good I'm very happy with you man I'm very proud <laughs> No, thank you. I mean, you did the work. Okay, guys, let's see this. Uh, let's finish. Uh, so, again, we just have to... It is positive. It's above the day. It's a positive close. It's a positive day. And we have, based on this, it gives us a... We do have a negative bias in it versus the dollar. So, we have... It closed the week at 157 or 157.99 so what this thing is going to do we're going to look at the intraday chart because we are in a trading range if you will or within between two structure points without with no definite uh, trend if you will so what we're going to do we need to look at the intraday chart and we're going to look for short term moves until it gets to a structure point so if I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy and my goal is to see what happens at the structure long. If I take it short, I'm going to take it short and I'm going to look and see what happens at the structure short. Because I am range bound. Okay? So... So anyway, uh, so if that's the case and you can see it, if 
we can see this uh, uh, I mean if you look at this you can see them all I mean if you look at the 15705 which is the 15706 our number I mean you can see look at this area over here comes back down to the 157 it just bounce back up again it goes one to the 15918 it comes back to the 157 so I really do not want to take a short unless it gets below the 157 uh, or six or let's do this One fifty seven or six. All right, so let's do this. These are short term trades, guy. You're going to take those trades quickly. Uh, so we're going to short the pound. below 157.69 okay and we are going to place our stop above 158.50 Uh, one second guys one second uh, just give me a second we're going to play uh, we're going to take the star the trade below 157.69 I'm going to place our stop above 158.21 our structure short is still the 157.06 our structure long is still the 159.80 now my long point We'll take it above 158.40. Okay, so to sum up the, the British pound, we're going to buy above 158.40. And if we do, we're going to place our stop long stop gee. getting tired going to place the stop below the market side which is 157.90 because I want room between my, my stop and my short entry. Okay, so um, I'm going to buy the pound at 158.40. And if I do that, I'm going to place my stop below 157.90. I'm risking about 50 pips on that trade. And my structure short is, and my structure long, sorry, is the 159.80, which is above that. So you would have at least about 140 pips if it does break. The odds are it would break to the downside because we have more multiple buy signals in the dollar. 
so if I'm going to go short I'm going to go short below 157.69 and if I do I'm placing my stop above 158.21 and my structure short is the 157.06 and these are the, again Safran this is what we're looking about talking about okay that is